Learn along with me. Hey guys, my name is Ritu Sachdev. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create a responsive lightbox gallery for your website using jQuery plugin. When you click on the first image, you can shuffle between the next and the previous image with some animation effect. Before going into action, let me preview at a glance the lightbox gallery which we are going to code today. I am using the spy images for my lightbox gallery. And I am also gonna link up this lightbox gallery with bootstrap. It's totally your preference to link up this gallery with bootstrap or not. I am linking up because I like bootstrap. It's a responsive framework and having lots of predefined classes inside it which saves our lots of time and efforts. See when I click on the first image, I have this lightbox window with some padding effect. See when I click on the next, I have this preloader image and the next image comes in with padding effect. Again when I click on next, a preloader was there and the next image is there. Now I also have the previous arrow. See, on the first image it does not appear but later I have on the rest of images. Likewise, when I click again next, a preloader is there then the next image is there. And you see on the last image I don't have this next arrow but I have the previous arrow. But these arrows are totally customizable which I will let you know later in the tutorial. And notice guys here in the bottom I have some caption. Obviously you can have better caption for each and every image. And underneath this caption you can see I have the counting for images. This is the image 5th of 5th. This is 4th of 5th. This is 3rd of 5th. When I click next again 4th of 5th. Likewise. Once again this counting is totally customizable whether you want to show it in your lightbox gallery or not. And you see I have this cross button here. When I click on it, the lightbox window disappears. And again when I click, even though I will click out of this image, this lightbox window will disappear. And one more thing guys, this lightbox gallery is a responsive gallery. See when I will collapse my browser's window, all the images are resizing and when I will click on any of the image, this lightbox window is also responsive. So let's get started. So here I am on my code editor, I am with very basic setup. Here on the line number 7, you see, I have latest compiled and minified version of jQuery which you can get from jQuery.com or any other preferable source. And on the line number 9, I have latest compiled and minified CSS file for bootstrap. And this is the optional theme. And this is latest compiled and minified version of JS file for bootstrap. All this you can easily get from the official website of getbootstrap.com. Now to link up Lightbox plugin in this document, let's download the Lightbox plugin. So let me google something here. Lightbox 2. Here we go. Lightbox by Lokesh Dhakar. So let's click here. Now the first thing you need to have it is to download this plugin. So let's click on the download. Here you go. The plugin is downloaded. Now let's check out the downloads folder. Here we go. This PC and here I go for downloads folder. This is Lightbox 2 Master. Let's unzip this folder. So let's extract it. Extract to Lightbox 2 Master. Here we go. Now you see this folder is having several files and folder. But I will simply go to dist folder. And simply grab this three folder, CSS folder, images folder and JS folder. Copy this and paste it in my local folder. This is my local folder. D 
these are the images I'm gonna use and this is the HTML document I'm using. Now let's paste the files which we have copied up from that plugin. Here I go. So this is again CSS. This is the images folder and this is JS. I'm separating my images folder by saying IMGS to this folder as I want to separate my images. This images folder is having this icons here, the close icon, the loader, loading and these are the previous and next images along with this plugin. And this CSS file is having lightbox.css and JS file contains the various JS file but simply we will be using the single file lightbox.js. So again here I am on my code editor and let's link up these files first link href browse the file this is my local folder this is the file relation is equals to style sheet and type is equals to text hover slash css now you see this plugin says to, here we have downloaded the file in the bottom of the page before closing the body tag we should link up this lightbox.js. We have linked up this lightbox.css already. Body of document before closing. Let's have the script tag. Browse the file. This is the JS file lightbox.js. Close this script tag. Here you go. Now, see all the files are attached here. This is the lightbox.js. Now, as I'm using Bootstrap, so simply I will use the predefined class of Bootstrap diff with a class of container. Now, inside the container, I will have div with a class of row. Bootstrap works on a grid system for its responsive utility. So in a row, the total should always be 12. So the next div I would like to have is div with a class of call hyphen md hyphen Four. I will be having three images in first row. The total should always be 12. It's a compulsion with bootstrap. So 444 four, four is equals to 12. Now if you want to understand this grid system in bootstrap, you can watch my earlier tutorial. Here on my channel, you will find a playlist web development with bootstrap inside playlist tab. Now, Watch this video apply bootstrap make web pages responsive easily to understand this grid system and you can also watch one more video on thumbnail gallery create creating responsive thumbnail gallery. So in my first column I will have anchor tag to link up that image with that image itself. Simply I will go to plugin web page. This is the plugin web page and simply, simply we will grab this chunk of code and paste it here. This is the location for the image they are giving in example. But we will use the original location of ours for the image. So I will browse the image. This is the one.jpg and let this be image hyphen one data hyphen light box is equals to this is the caption this could be anything related to your image and here we have to just browse the image using img tag img src is equals to again I want to have this one dot jpg when I will click on the first image this first image on the light box will be open this is what it means 
Now you can also use the alt attribute. It's a compulsion to have alt attribute along with the image, but right now I'm leaving it blank. And the next thing I would like to have a bootstrap class here. Class is equals to img hyphen thumbnail. Just to give a border there on the images and to resize this images fit in this column. Say let's save it up. Let's see the browser preview so far. This is the first image and you can see a border along with this image that img hyphen thumbnail class is responsible to resize this image and I will click on this image. I have this light box window. But let's proceed further and have rest of our images. Simply I will copy this call md-4 in my div class row for two more times. Here I go. See we are having three images. The total is 12. As I said the total should always be 12. Simply I will change the name of images as 2.jpg, 3.jpg, again 2.jpg, 3.jpg. As I am using all the images with the name of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's quite easier for me to rename. Uh, now for my second Row. Simply I will copy this div class row, the complete div here inside this div container and paste it here. Right, let's remove this extra space here. Now let's rename the image very quickly. This is 4.jpg, 5.jpg. I don't want to have this sixth image so simply I will remove this junk of code here save this document up and yeah let's re rename it here also let this distribution be there sum to have the sum total as 12 now let's save it up let's reload see this is our gallery now And when I click on this first image, I have this next arrow or the second image. And I was also having a preloader image. You see, again. And this is the my caption and image 4 of 5 underneath this. So we can also customize this my caption. Here you see. Data hyphen title attribute is responsible for caption. I can write I am some image. Simply I can copy this caption, paste it, or have some other caption for my second image. Likewise, let's save it up. Let's reload. See. Now the caption is I am some image and we are having this next arrow but we are not having this arrow on the first image as a previous arrow because this is the first image but just in a moment I am gonna show you how you can customize more with this things as this gallery runs only for the single time here. Now let's go to plugin page. If you want to change any of the default option, call the option method. Let's copy this chunk of code and in the bottom, let's paste this chunk of code here. Now you see we have a resize duration as 200. This is what it says. This is what the detailed explanation is there. When I say resize duration 700, it will take the time in milliseconds. Right? The transition between different size images. 
so like let's save it 900 if you will notice now the duration it will change to resize the image will be 900 and you see we are having wrap around true it means when the user reaches the last image in a set the right navigation arrow will appear and they will be to continue moving forward which will take them back to the first image now you see the default is the false but here we are using true let's refresh our gallery page now let's click click on the first image see I have this previous and next arrow both the arrows are there there when I will click on the previous it will show me the last image likewise when I will reach to the last image this is fifth of fifth again I have this next arrow this is what wrap around is doing and obviously the resize duration is 900 now likewise you can also play with the more option you can have the position from top you can use the max width and max height uh, you can use the fat duration the duration it the time it takes for the light box container and overlay to fade in and out in milliseconds. The default is 500. Like let's copy this show image number level. Let's copy this junk of code. The default is true. Paste it here in the quotation mark. Then let's make it false. Let's have comma here. Okay. Uh, let's save this up. Let's refresh this page. See, when I will refresh my page, it won't show me the counting here in the bottom. Image 3 of 5, likewise. So let's reload. Now, when I will click, See, only a caption is there. The counting does not appear. As I have said, show image number level as false. This is what written here. If false, the text indicating the current image number and the total number of images in set 2 of 4 will be hidden. Likewise, So this is done friends and if you like this video of mine, do thumb it up, do not forget to subscribe me, do share this video and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me. Have a good day. Bye bye.